All right, Algebra 1, here we go. Getting into Chapter 9, last chapter we're going to cover here. Quadratic graphs and their properties. Okay, our essential question today is, what is the shape of the graph of a quadratic function? Okay, uh, let's kind of back up here. and What do we mean by a quadratic function? Okay, a quadratic function in standard form is f of x or y, doesn't matter, is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are some kind of constants, a cannot equal 1, or can't be 0, because if that was 0, there'd be no x squared. It's the x squared that makes it a quadratic, okay? Just like when it's x to the first, it's linear. Well, when it's x squared is the biggest one, it's quadratic, okay? b and c can be 0, that's fine, but a cannot, okay? Examples would be like y equals 3x squared, okay? b and c are 0, that's why you don't have anything else. Or you could have y equals x squared plus 9, or y equals x squared minus x plus 2. Those are all different kinds of examples that we could have. There's many more. Okay? Well, what about the graph? The graph of the quadratic function is called a parabola. Okay? And it's u-shaped. If your a value right here is positive, that u is going up. Okay? If that a value is negative, it's less than 0, that u is going to open down. Okay? Every time. Okay, you can bet on that. All right, a couple terms that we use here, and we're gonna uh, in the next couple sections you'll see more of it. But axis of symmetry is one thing we always talk about with the quadratic, and the axis of symmetry is this line that goes right down the middle of the parabola and cuts it in half, so that you could fold this parabola up on itself, and it would it would, it would be equal. Okay, it's like taking a sandwich or a hot dog bun and folding it. Okay. That's the axis of symmetry. It's that line that goes right down the middle of it. Okay? Vertex. Vertex is that minimum or maximum point of the parabola. Okay? And you'll find that that axis of symmetry goes right through it. Okay? Here you can see it's a minimum because it's at the bottom. Here you can see the vertex is at the top, so it would be a maximum point. Okay? So, standard form, a parabola is what we call the graph of a quadratic. You have the axis of symmetry and you have your vertex, okay? Graphing the parabola. Just like when we start talking about most graphing and when you get into Algebra 2, there's a, a, a lot more graphing. Uh, we always start with, by making a table, okay? XY table like this, and then plotting the points and drawing a line through it, okay? You can pick the same points every time. It doesn't matter. Uh, for right now, I like to take some start on the negative, always include zero, and then maybe take a positive. Now, I took negative two and two here because I was taking half of whatever the x squared was. So I wanted to keep that squared part, the four, the zero, the four, uh, even. So two goes into it evenly. Okay? So when x is negative two, you plug in negative two for the x. You're going to square it. Half of it is two. Of course, you square zero at zero. Half of that is zero and then half of 2 is 4, and so you get... Hey, it's Shaq, you know what I'm saying? My dog Miko teach you how to do sign or math. He, he Yo! I got it. So negative 2, 2, 0, 0, and 2, 2 are points on our graph, okay? You can plug any x values you want. It doesn't matter. Everybody in class could use a different x value, but when you always put that x into that equation, you're going to get a point on this parabola somewhere. Okay, you have to. There's only one parabola graph per equation. Okay, and you can see here, here's the negative 2, 2, the 0, 0, and the 2, 2. Okay, my axis of symmetry would go right through the vertex. In this case, here would be the y axis, which is x equal to 0 for us. There's our vertex, our bottom point, 0, 0. Okay, comparing widths of the parabola, the leading coefficient a determines the, what we call slope of the graph and its reflection. And the slope thing, goes like this, okay? The bigger A is, the steeper we're going to get our graph, okay? There's A is 1, and then when A is a fraction between 0 and 1, it flattens it out, okay? So that, that happens all the time, all right? So the bigger A, the steeper the graph, so we get a steeper U. There's your basic U when A is 1, and then it flattens out more because of the half. A is a half. It's a fraction between 0 and 1. The reflection, I've already kind of mentioned it, when A is less than zero or it's negative, your graph's always going to open down, but the same thing holds, okay? 
the bigger the negative, the steeper it gets. There's one. And if it's a fraction like negative one half or whatever, it would be flatter. Okay? But it would definitely open down. Okay? So there's some of the beginning things about uh, quadratics and its graph. We'll be looking into a lot more of that this, uh, this chapter. Uh, but we'll, we'll look at some, some more of this tomorrow when you get in here. Okay? See you then. Bye.